hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing well my name is Rosalind Kihamba in case you're new here we talk on relationship faith and family so make sure you click that subscribe button before we continue join this family and you won't regret it you will get better now for them that are subscribed thank you so much for staying here i mean who stays in a youtube channel that has been dormant for the last three months however you guys are the best thank you so much for staying here thank you for them that have been subscribing even when there's no video coming i mean i've gotten like over 10 subscribers without even any video so you guys you mean a lot to me and that is a very nice gesture thank you so much as motivated to do this video having celebrated my birthday like a few days ago and while celebrating my birthday then this idea came into my mind and i thought i thought like wow it's something so good i can share with you and it will be helpful to other people that are also in this similar situation there's this one prayer i used to tell god every birthday like i'll wake up at midnight and you know the way you're just dedicating a new year and receiving it the way we receive a new year on first of january yeah so i I'll, I'll do that way i'll always wake up and one of the prayers i'll tell god since 2011 like god please if you're planning weddings in this year please don't do it without me like let me let my wedding be part let my wedding be part of the weddings that you have scheduled for this year and 2011 2012 13 14 15 16 17 18 I'm telling you God was silent. Heavens were silent. And I kept feeling like, where am I going wrong? Because the word of God tells us that he will give us the desires of our heart. And every time I'll be celebrating a birthday, I'll be feeling like, I'll be feeling so bitter about, I mean, bitter with God. Because how can I keep praying about marriage and it's not coming by? And every, every time I, I finish this birthday stuff and stories and I get into a new year, another year and things are normal, I'll get to a point and start feeling like this God is not fair. Or maybe he does not answer some of our prayers. And for those seven good years, like eight, for eight good years, God never answered me okay there were hints i'll feel like okay things are getting better and maybe after that birthday i get hooked i i hook up with someone and it looks like it's going to last it's going to lead to marriage in that year but ah uh, it's never it's never happened so i get to 2016. that was the year i started with so much psych i told god if you're going to do it, I know you've disappointed me in 2011, you disappointed me in 2012, you disappointed me in 2013, 14 and 15 equally. But 2016, please, let me just get a husband on my birthday, like it's a Saturday for God's sake. And I started that year with loads, loads of prayer and fasting, and I kept telling God. But I wish you should have seen my prayer journal in 2016. Heavens were so silent so silent to the extent that i don't think i don't think i met anyone or i was even in any proper relationship in 2016. it's like i was invisible in 2016 and i felt so bitter with god but there's something i got to learn right now now that i was celebrating my birthday just the other day i felt like god reminded me for some reason it was not in vain that god reminded me how i used to wake up to pray you know for the first time i never woke up to pray for the first time i never <laughs> i never even realized that i needed to tell god to give me a birthday present like you know other than marriage there are things i would tell god please these are the things i'm presenting to you just give them to me as a birthday present 2020 trust me i never woke up to pray at midnight the way i usually do so for nine good years i've been praying but come to 2020 the 10th year i didn't wake up why and while going through that day that's when god reminded me and i said i'll share with you guys so 
this is what I'm trying to share. Those days when I was feeling like heavens are silent, God must have been speaking. And God does not have to speak the way we, you know, like we, we don't have to hear him in a direct way. Like this is how God speak or this is what he's trying to imply. God uses several ways of speaking. So if God had given me marriage, maybe when I started demanding in 2011, 2012, 2013, if God had worked the way I wanted, I don't think I would have appreciated the package of marriage the way I did when he did it at his own time. And secondly, I think, you know, when we, when some, secondly, I also believe that God knew that there was a time he didn't want to give me this package so that I start feeling like if it's not for me praying to God, demanding God to give me a package for my birthday, then God will not have given me this package. So God wanted me to just relax. And when I was, I least expected it, that's when God moved and did his own will. So you might be there. Things happen. You keep praying. You've got this prayer request that have never been answered. Prayer requests that seem to be hitting the roof every time you pray. Trust me, God hears those prayers. There are these prayers that you even pray kimoyomoyo, you know, you don't even utter a word. You just, you know, like a wish, you make a wish, or you just, you know, those silent prayers. Trust me, God hears them because he sees our thoughts from afar and so whatever you're going through whether that prayer request has stayed for years whether it has stayed for days whether it has he is late you feel like he's late for hours days years decades trust me god knows and in his time he'll make all things beautiful yes that is why i had to resurface and make a video and encourage you don't give up on god this year it felt it felt different like for once i never asked god for marriage and if i prayed for marriage then it was not the laser god give me a husband god give me marriage god please perfect my wedding you know surprise me with a wedding package do for once i thanked god for the marriage that i'm in for once it was time to just tell god i thank you that for <laughs> it's taken nine years but i thank you at least my it's my first birthday to come back and tell you the one you settled maritally is here to worship you like it felt so peaceful what if i'd given up and done my own way like what if in 2013 14 15 and it was not easy guys it was not easy let no one lie to you that it was easy yes even with the help of god it's never easy waiting and i wouldn't blame you who is complaining who feels like murmuring who feels like god has let them down i was there and i felt it and i wouldn't even judge you it's never easy however just do it it's better you wait and see the salvation of god rather than give up and save yourself and later on live the rest of your life regretting so for me this year it was a peaceful birthday i crossed over just thanking god it was a season to just thank god like i'm grateful that i got the patience other than teaching me patience you also taught me that your ways are above our ways because if i done things my way the way i thought i should do then I don't think it will have turned out the way it did. So this is one encouragement I just wanted to give. I know there's somebody that will be blessed with this encouragement. It's just an encouragement. It's not any video on a particular topic, but just to encourage you who is waiting on the Lord, who you is praying, you've been making this prayer and there's no change, there's no response from heaven. Just don't give up. If you know God promised, he, I knew he had promised marriage. God had promised that I will not lack a mate. Like, that is a promise I knew God will not fail. But when was the question? And it, it was never easy. So, guys, don't give up. It could be your children. It could be your school. And 2020 has just been a different year. Things are just happening. We can't even tell. 
you don't even know how to start planning your life again you know i made this this pandemic but i like to tell you plan it in the lord at his appointed time it shall come to pass and you will celebrate you will also find peace the way i found peace during my birthday this year so guys i love you so much ensure you click the subscribe button if you've not subscribed and see you in my next video at least i'm back <laughs>